The Philippines is now allowing tourism to areas that it controls in the disputed waters of the South China Sea. But it's not a typical vacation, as Buena Bernal finds out. A celebratory send-off for a special group of tourists. They're the first paying to set foot on Philippine-occupied features in the internationally disputed Spiratli Islands in the South China Sea. The Philippines claims the Northeast, known locally as the Kalayan Islands of the West Philippine Sea. The seven-day tour is dubbed the Great Kalayaan, or Freedom Expedition, and costs more than 2,000 U.S. dollars per person. The Great Kalayaan Expedition aims to open the vast West Philippine Sea for, for tourism. Although uh, the program's aim is not exactly to create uh, to create the aggressive move, but uh, we definitely believe that uh, it, it gives some value to our claim. The tour group is a mix of media, academics, and water sports enthusiasts like Filipino diver Brech Garcines. Nationalism plays an important role in decisioning despite the cost because uh, that place is like very special because every nation is looking at that place. The jump-off point is a restricted Philippine naval facility. Here, a joyous farewell for the journey at sea that takes some getting used to. After over 30 hours, we arrive at our first stop, Lawak Island, a bird sanctuary. Beautiful as it may be, this is not the tour's main attraction. We can see in this area of the Spratly Islands one China Coast Guard vessel as well as a couple of vessels which our Philippine Navy security escort said were all Chinese. And this has been the site that tourists on this vessel has been seeing for 30 minutes now. Chinese Coast Guard. No! Yeah, I saw it, you know. They're tailing on that. At its closest, the China Coast Guard vessel was 1.8 kilometers from our yacht. As we docked at Philippine-controlled Thetu, locally known as Pagasa or Hope Island, our yacht's chief engineer received an automated message from a Philippine telecom company welcoming him to China. I didn't understand that it's China. Why is it connected to the island in China? Kaya medyo ano kami, Pilipinas pa naman yun, bakit naging China na yun? Yun lang ano namin. On land, the Philippine Navy team deployed to Thetu, continuously challenged the Chinese vessel. The tourists head off to have a good time. I joined Diver Brech and his group, who decide to go to Sandy Cay. It's a group of three uninhabited sandbars claimed by both China and the Philippines. It's located between Thetu and Chinese-held Subi Reef and guarded by China's vessels. On the way, nervous remarks. Excitement. And as the boat docks, celebration. Filipino tourists wave the Philippine flag and bring levity to an area considered a major regional flashpoint. From here, you can see that the China Coast Guard vessel is just about over two kilometers away. And you can also see other Chinese vessels swarming the area. For a few minutes, tourists got to enjoy one of three sandbars of Sandy Cay. It wasn't the Chinese vessels on guard, but the weather that drove them back. The waves are stronger now, so we've only gotten wet on our way back to Pagasa. 
uh, the tourists were with, you know, they're very happy with themselves and with what they were able to do. And uh, they say it seems like there are more water sports activities that can be done in that sand park. But for now, that might take some time. Tour participant, academic Francois Xavier Bonnet says it is time for the Philippines to develop tourism here. Like Malaysia developed already the tourism in the Spratly Islands. We know that Vietnam and China, they also develop some kind of tourism, but only for their own nationals. The tour is a reminder that there is space for nations to coexist, even amid the tensions in this remote part of the world. Buena Bernal, CNA, Spratly Islands.